The Byzantine Empire survived for a thousand years and gave birth to stunning architecture, produced a legal code that still shapes Western law today, and produced churches of such grandeur that entire nations were drawn to Jesus because their emissaries visited them. The most famous example of these churches is the incredible Hagia Sophia. Hagia Sophia, meaning holy wisdom in Greek, was built by the Byzantine Emperor Justinian starting in 537 AD. The church was dedicated to Jesus Christ, the Logos, the wisdom of God. The Hagia Sophia was considered the epitome of Byzantine architecture and the focal point of the Eastern Orthodox Church for nearly a thousand years. It was famous for its massive dome, an engineering marvel of its time. It was also the world's largest church for the same 1,000 years, until surpassed by the Seville Cathedral in the 16th century. In 1453, Constantinople was conquered by the Ottoman Empire. Mehmet the Conqueror ordered the Hagia Sophia, the main church of Orthodox Christianity, converted to a Muslim mosque. The bells, altars, and relics were destroyed, and the artwork depicting Jesus, Mary, and the saints were destroyed or plastered over. In 1935, this entire complex was converted to a museum, revealing Christian mosaics and frescoes for the first time in hundreds of years. This now famous mosaic of Jesus probably dates to the 13th century. It's widely considered the finest in the Hagia Sophia because of its well-preserved colors, tones, and expressions. In this panel, we see the Virgin Mary and John the Baptizer seeking Christ's intercession for humanity on Judgment Day. This style of icon is one of the most used religious images of Eastern Orthodox Christianity, generally a mosaic or fresco of Christ Pantocrator occupies a center position in arts and architecture of most Byzantine churches. From the Greek, Pantocrator translates as Almighty or Ruler of All. Today, the Hagia Sophia Museum is the most visited tourist attraction in the predominantly Muslim country of Turkey. As such, this image of Christ Almighty, Ruler of All, speaks volumes.